Hello friends and welcome to the channel again. My name is Dr. Mohsen Raj. I am a cardiology student at Ames Delhi. I had All India Rank 16 in uh, my postgraduate entrance exam at Ames, All India Rank 11 in PGI Chandigarh exam, and I had All India Rank 1 in all three DM exams by conducted by Ames, PGI, or NEED Super Specialty. The reason I'm telling you these ranks is not because I want to impress you, but the fact that I have appeared and done good in these exams, right? So now a question comes to mind that what is the most important skill to top these exams or at least get good ranks in these exams? Coaching is very important, hai kya? that which coaching have you taken, right? Is the preparation itself, of course preparation itself is important, but is that the most important thing that decides your rank, that decides your, your branch or your, your institute? Well, the answer to me seems it is the exam day itself. Up exam ke teen gante mein kitna acha perform karte ho, that decides your rank. And that's quite logical, you know. Isme zyada sochna hai nahi. There's a straightforward answer. Up exam mein kitna acha karoge, that will decide your rank, of course. Now, but uske liye kush prerequisites honge, right? You will be able to do good in exam if you prepare for it but how do you do the best in the exam so that with whatever amount of preparation you have your rank is better your rank is the highest because sabne prepare kiya hua hai sabne ek saal deed saal do saal pada hua hai but what is different between a topper and the rest of the students or what is different between those on the top of the list maybe top 100 or top 200 ranks versus the rest of the students yeah, agar book same hai, agar sabke bas time same hai, sabka IQ be nearly similar hi hota hai. Don't ever think that another person has a higher IQ than yours. No. Uska passion definitely zyada hoga jo topper hoga. But there are some key strategies jo toppers usually follow karte hai during the exams, during those three hours. Okay? And that's the title of this slide. That is be the best exam taker. Thik hai? Obviously, you should be good at your preparation, but you should be good at your exam. Now, let me compare this to a cricket match. 50 over, World Cup match, which you routinely see. Imagine, this is the World Cup final, and of course, it is sort of a World Cup final for you, right? This is your final exam, and beyond this exam is your MBBS seat, beyond this exam, maybe your post-graduate seat, your MDMS seat, or maybe a DMC, depending on at which stage you are. Okay. So the first thing is, yeah, aap apni team ko, you wish to play full 50 hours or maybe get all out in 40 hours. Well, obviously, you want to play full 50 hours. What does that mean? That means aap ko pure ke pure question try karna, attempt karna. It's, it's almost similar to playing full 50 hours in, in a cricket game, right? So if you're repairing an INICD, for example, it's just an example. Now, if you have 200 total questions, your target should be to play full 200 questions. Why? Because that will maximize your final score, right? It's quite obvious. So do not miss any scoring opportunity. Do not miss even a single question. Well, of course, there's a, there's a caution there. You don't want to mark a question if you have no idea about the question, no idea about any of the options that the question has, right? blindly sub those questions mark kar you know but the point is that logic aisa hona chahi, that the more you play the higher will be your score right second second jo, uh, tip hogi, it will be that there will be some straightforward questions sort of kisi part time bowler koi part time bowler over kar raha so do not think much play naturally don't think much. Don't waste time. For example, if you get an easy question in an exam, you have written 10 seconds in answer lik liya, and then you spend another 30 seconds in again looking at that same question that have you marked it correctly? You're, you're just too worried that I have a mistake. Nahi ki. How can there be such an easy question on this exam? An exam always has easy questions. On questions, pe zyada time waste nahi karna hai. spend 10 seconds, 20 seconds. They are mostly one-liners. You either know them or you don't know them. You know the one-liner, mark it, move on to the next question. Don't think much, okay? Then third point that I want to discuss. See, just like match, mein, there are power plays, 
power play overs there are some fielding restrictions or sometimes there's a difficult bowler now similarly ke exam mein there will be a collection of some very hard questions some difficult questions some moderately difficult questions some easy questions and some very easy questions you know just like a team has different types of bowlers that you are playing against right so to if you have a very difficult bowler you will play cautiously koi difficult question aata you can give it slightly more time you will give it the respect it deserves okay aur jab ek easy question aayega usko maaroge okay and it is second idea behind it when you've started the exam if you're getting very difficult questions right at the start don't be depressed yeah difficult question char panch pehle hi aa gaye it doesn't mean that aapne padha nahi hai it doesn't mean aapki preparation theek nahi hai what it means is that randomly aapke pehle panch questions thode se difficult the so have faith in the examiner that he's going to ask you easy questions as well subsequently agar pehle se difficult questions hai baad mein easy questions bhi aayenge okay The fourth point that I'll talk about is the reviews. देखो क्रिकेट मैच में रिव्यूज का एक अलग रोल है यू कैन सेव योर विकेट ओके बट एक एग्जाम में रिव्यू इज नॉट अ गुड थिंग डोंट मार्क टू मेनी क्वेश्चन फॉर रिव्यू मार्क फॉर रिव्यू ऑप्शन आता है डोंट टच इट ओके अनलेस रियली यू नो अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं मैं इस क्वेश्चन को लास्ट में अगर फिर से सोचूँ फिर से अटैम्प्ट करूँ आई गेट द राइट आंसर जनरली ऐसा होता नहीं यू दर नो दी आंसर यू डोंट नो दी आंसर आप उसमें और सोच के कुछ ज़्यादा निकाल नहीं सकते उसमें से ओके बट द ट्रिक इज दैट डू नॉट कीप टू मेनी क्वेश्चन फॉर रिव्यू और ऑलवेज एग्जाम से पहले जो इंस्ट्रक्शन आते हैं उनको पढ़ो ध्यान से सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्स विल कंसिडर दीज क्वेश्चन एज इफ यू हैव नॉट अटेम्प्टेड दोज क्वेश्चन है ना आप किसी क्वेश्चन को सेव नहीं सेव एंड सबमिट नहीं करते हो आप मार्क फॉर रिव्यू करके कोई ऑप्शन चूज करके मार्क फॉर रिव्यू करते हो एंड एग्जाम मे कंसिडर दैट एज नॉट एन डेफिनेट क्वेश्चन वर्सेस सम एग्जाम्स टिपिकली नीट में इट विल बी एन अटेम्प्टेड अटेम्प्टेड क्वेश्चन दे विल कंसिडर इट फॉर यू नो इवेल्युएशन फॉर योर मार्क्स इवेल्युएशन बट बी वेरी कॉशियस रीड दोज इंस्ट्रक्शन वेरी केयरफुली नंबर फिफ्थ रूल दैट नंबर फिफ्थ टिप और ट्रिक वट एवर यू कंसिडर दैट आई गिव यू इज द फिफ्टी फिफ्टी रूल इसका मतलब क्या है सी दिस इज क्वाइट कॉमन इन अटेम्प्टिंग एम सी क्यू सब लोग बताएंगे तुम्हें और ये सच भी है दैट एक एम सी क्यू अटेम्प्ट कर रहे हो एग्जैक्ट आंसर नहीं पता बट इफ यू आर एबल टू रूल आउट टू ऑप्शन यू नो दैट आउट ऑफ टू मे बी ए और सी दो में से कोई आंसर है हिट एंड रन कोई भी एक चूज कर लो गट फीलिंग जो बता रही है आपका जो आइडिया बता रहा है कि ये दो में से एक को टिक कर लेता हूँ कर ले और आगे चलो मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई बिकॉज यू हैव 50 परसेंट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग दिस क्वेश्चन राइट है ना अब दो ऑप्शन या तो आपका आंसर पता है तो डेफिनेटली यू इफ यू आर करेक्ट यू विल गेट द फुल मार्क्स बट इफ यू आर हाफ श्योर दो ऑप्शन है दो में से एक होगा हिट एट और ऐसे करके पूरे एग्जाम में इफ यू हैव टेन सच क्वेश्चन तो बाय द लॉज ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी आपके पाँच क्वेश्चन सही होने हैं You will be still winning than if you just leave all those ten questions, है ना? So this is logical. By the laws of probability, ऐसा करो. दो में से एक लग रहा है, tick करो एक को. Okay, fine. The last thing is this दूसरा concept. तो examiner की दूसरा क्या होगी? It will be sort of कि उसने clause में लिखा होगा, उसने लिखा होगा except, all except, or not. ऐसे words पे ध्यान रखो. Whenever you are reading the question stem, आपको उसमें except दिखा, not दिखा. You have to be extra cautious. Know that ये examiner की दूसरा है मुझे ध्यान से खेलना है Because this way you will get an easy question wrong अगर आपने इसको ध्यान नहीं दिया You know the answer, but you forget the fact that ऊपर examiner ने except लिखा था तीन option सही थे एक गलत था तो मैं वो गलत वाला choose करना था then एक सही option है ना So pay attention to this. so that these were essential things that i wanted to share with you but what is the best thing you can do right now abhi exam mein to ek mahina hai do mahine jitna bhi time bacha ho abhi tum kya kar sakte ho to improve your performance as i as i as i told you that your 3 hours of exam performance is the most important thing you know to get a rank so right now you can appear in tests as many tests as you want but i do, i don't mean that you go to a coaching center up kahi physically kisi distant location pe jahan pe exam do no no What I mean is that there are so many online platforms you can attempt questions. अगर नहीं है, you can get a previous year question paper and assume that you are sitting on that exam. 
वो पूरा का पूरा क्वेश्चन पेपर अपने अलॉटेड थ्री आवर्स में सॉल्व करो और वाइल यू आर डूइंग दोज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स वाइल यू आर अपेयरिंग दोज मॉक टेस्ट एज्यूम कि आप सही एग्जाम में बैठे हो आप रियल एग्जाम में बैठे हो यू प्रैक्टिस दी स्किल्स आपको जहाँ पे कंफ्यूजन लगी सेम स्ट्रैटेजीज फॉलो करो आप 200 के 200 क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करोगे है ना जहाँ पे 50 50 रूल लग रहा है टिक करोगे एक ऑप्शन को और यू विल फॉलो वट आई सेट इन दिस वीडियो राइट सो दैट आप एग्जाम वाले दिन पे यू आर इनफ ट्रेंड आप उस दिन दीज यू विल फॉलो दीज स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड योर स्कोर शुड इम्प्रूव सो आई विश यू लक फॉर योर एग्जाम फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड एंड आई विल बी सून पोस्टिंग सो मेनी हेल्पफुल वीडियोज फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन ओके थैंक यू